Hey there everybody. Um, I'm going to be making a video here about a problem I had to fix in the garden. And it basically stems from not putting in a physical barrier separating uh, my annual beds from the surrounding landscape. In this case it is a perennial strawberry and asparagus bed that is full of sorrel. Uh, specifically sheep sorrel that has a creeping rhizomatous root and what had happened is it had moved from a grassy patch over there that's now covered and smothered with leaves and cardboard into the strawberry asparagus patch into the pathway and then into the annual bed. So this has been an ongoing problem in my garden for the last couple of years now because uh, in addition to the cover and the smother layer, it's a little unknown thing that I didn't know at the time was to, I, uh, it really helps to put in that physical barrier. And that's to keep the rhizomatous weeds from creeping into your garden or from being able to sustain roots that are in your garden so that after the cover and smother layer starts to break down, these weeds come popping up inside the garden. So, this video is about me going through here and taking all the weeds and the strawberries out of this pathway, putting in a new physical barrier, and basically having to redo something that I wish I had done right the first time. I wish I had the knowledge and I wish I had the information. So, I wanted to go through this, document it, share it with you, and so you have uh, first-hand knowledge, and you can see, or second-hand knowledge, of uh, what it's like to have to go back and redo something um, again. So, this right here is the finished product. And so now I don't have any more creeping sorrel in the pathway that's going to be coming from the strawberry bed. All the sorrel is still in there. There's no way I'm going to be able to dig it out. But with that little physical barrier in there, all the way to the end of the garden, I now don't have to worry or shouldn't have to worry about sorrel creeping over into my annual beds. Well, it's only been one year since I put down this wood chip pathway at the edge of my garden here. And it's right next to the strawberry and asparagus patch I had here. But, as with everything else that I didn't do right the first time, I now have to do this again because I let the strawberries creep out into the pathway along with Oh, the dreaded sorrel. Sorrel is now everywhere here. 
that's going to be a problem. So, I'm going to try to turn this problem into a solution and do as little work as possible. So just over there, in the leafy area, last year I grew potatoes in the Ruth Stout method, trying to get rid of the grass and the sorrel that was over there and creeping into the strawberry patch. But without doing anything in the strawberry patch, the sorrel that was in there has crept over into the pathway. Yeah, forget it. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm trying to, going to try and get rid of the strawberries and the sorrel that's here. And not bother with this, because that's ridiculous. And I'm going to get all the strawberries, I'm going to put them over there. So this whole area up to the fence line will now become the new strawberry patch. And asparagus along the row, it's in here. And I might as well let the sorrel grow up in here too, since this is going to be a perennial bed. I'll let the sorrel grow up in the perennial bed here. It might compete with the strawberries, but it will not compete with the asparagus. And I will just be pulling out fistfuls and feeding it to the chickens. So, I think that will get me a good harvest of strawberries, will get me a decent harvest of asparagus, and a continuous harvest of sorrel for the chickens. So, I think that's what I'm going to do now. Yeah, that's the plan. So now, I've got my black plastic uh, barrier. What do you, what you call that? The uh, black plastic garden barrier, lawn barrier. And so we've got that ready. I'm gonna reuse it, I pulled it out from somewhere else and now I'm just gonna use this over here. And the first thing I gotta do is clear out the pathway. Well, I gotta mark out the pathway to make sure I got the right width. Clear out all the vegetation. Scrape back the wood chip and put in the barrier. So that's gonna be a bit of work. But I think that should give me a nice clean area where I can make sure that there's going to be nothing growing in the path because anything green does not belong. <laughs> uh, should keep the sorrel out of the garden bed that will be three feet away. And uh, yeah, make a nice separation between the perennial bed on this side and the annual garden bed over here. There we go plan is developing.
Oh boy. All right. So this is a little bit worse than I thought. So I knew I had some sorrel and it was creeping over from the strawberry patch into the pathway and it was going to reach the garden bed. Um, that's not too bad. But, yep, it's already crept across. Very few people I've heard talk about putting in a physical barrier that separates the lawn or the outside of the garden from the space where you want to grow your annual plants. And I gotta tell you, there's not a single annual plant I know of that can outcompete a perennial. Um, so I've got the sorrel in here and it is all the way through. Yeah. Right to the edge of the garden bed. So I think I'm gonna go forward with the plan to still put the physical barrier over on this side. But I'm gonna to have to be really conscientious conscientious of the sorrel, the root systems that are in here, because I'm going to have to cover and smother this pathway again, and, and then I'm going to have to seriously keep on top of whatever tries to pop up in the garden beds. Uh, this might be a mistake, but uh, yeah, I don't, because I don't want to put the black plastic here right next to the garden bed. Really didn't want that. I really want it over there, and I want to have this as a clean path with no sheep sorrel. But, uh, yeah, that's just the way it's going to be for now. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go digging out all these, uh, all the sheep sorrel. A little bit of extra work, but it'll be worth it. Yeah, it'll be worth it. Now I gotta tell you, when doing any uh, hard work in the garden, a good set of gloves and a good set of knee pads will uh, save you a lot of hurt. But for doing all the work of heavy weeding, I like this tool. Now this little device I'm gonna call my arm trowel. It's got a sturdy handle. It's got a wrist brace, and so you can get a lot of power one-handed, and a good strong trowel, sharp edge, so that you can do some pretty heavy-duty weeding. So if you take a look at that dandelion, push right in there, give it a tug, and I got it down pretty far. Out comes the whole thing, root and all. But you can do even large dandelions. Just get that down in there, leave right out, give it a shake, and the whole thing comes out. So, yeah, that's one of my indispensable tools for getting out uh, deep tap rooted weeds. Gotta love it. But that tool is also going to be very handy for getting out all these strawberries and just for scratching up the dirt and getting into the roots of that sheep sorrel that are just underneath the surface. I'm pretty much going to use that and drag it just underneath the soil surface and I should be able to get most of those rhizomes out of there and just clean up this whole patch and try to get it as weed free as possible. And I'm going to do that before finishing scraping off all the wood chip and then putting down a layer of cardboard and either black plastic or new wood chip. Not sure what I'm going to do with that yet, but got to get started on that.
All right, that was a bit more work than I'd like, but uh, hey, it's done now. So I pretty much got most of the uh, sheep sorrel out of there, at least the stuff that was growing. There's still some root systems in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take a shovel and I'm going to cut along that one edge there. And I'm going to separate the root systems that are going to be in the pathway from anything that still might be growing in there. And then I think I'm going to cover and smother this whole thing. So I'm going to scrape up the wood chips, put on some cardboard, uh, probably get out the bag of garbage bags and cover this all up. And uh, yeah, and then put in the physical barrier on this side. And that should do it. And by this time next year, I can peel off the black plastic, put on some more wood chip, and the garden will be done. It is a bit of a process, but I want to make sure that that sorrel is not going to come back or come back out into the garden. It can stay over with the strawberries. So, for all that work, I ended up with a bucket of chicken feed and a bonus of, I think, about 100 strawberry plants. Don't know where I'm going to put them. I think a lot of them are going to go back out into that grassy area along the fence row there um, just to fill that area out and we'll be done there and I don't know I think I'm going to have a lot more left over so we'll see if I get those planted out somewhere maybe out in the backfield we'll see all right Continuing with the sorrel and strawberry removal from the pathways, I have thoroughly raked over and gotten rid of all the sorrel, raked up the dirt in the pathways, dug out all the root systems I could find, and I have installed the black plastic barrier separating the strawberry patch from the pathway from the annual garden. And I've run another string line, so now I've got my pathway completely marked out. So now the next step here is I'm going to put in the cardboard and I'm going to actually dig along the edge and shove the cardboard down slightly inside that plastic barrier and bring it over. And then I'm also gonna make a small little cut with an edging tool on this side. And I'm probably gonna put some paper or something in there just to go back down into the soil. And that should stop whatever roots that are in there from creeping over into the garden bed. So that's the plan. And that's the next step of finally getting rid of the sorrel. All right, now this is the process I'm using. So you see I got my cardboard down, but just underneath that cardboard and just slightly down inside the edging, I've put down some random newsprint paper, old advertisements. So I'm gonna tuck that in there, fold it over, cardboard on top. That'll make sure that none of those roots can have a chance of popping up around the corners and edges. And, uh, oh, just a, Another thing is the reason I decided to dig out all of the uh, strawberries and sorrel that was in the pathway is that when you reduce it down to the roots and then give it a good scratch and you make even smaller roots, yes, the plants will regrow or attempt to regrow from each one of those small pieces. But because it's just the root and because they're so small, I'm hoping that it only takes one year for the immature smaller roots to die and decompose, whereas if they were mature sorrel roots or any other type of weedy perennial, they could take up to two years. So that's why I'm putting in the extra effort now because I only want this, the potential of weeds to re-sprout to happen only once. And when that happens, they should die and uh, yeah, it should uh, guarantee success. So I'm gonna continue on with this process down one side and then I'm still gonna cut a slot along the string line here on the other side and overlap it with cardboard one side to the other all the way to the end. And I think from there I'll just be able to put on some wood chip and uh, be happy because it'll be done. 